Welcome. If you are new to this channel, my name is Jillian. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm very happy that it intrigued you in any way that made you want to. In today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the stuff that I picked up at Sephora during their Beauty Insider sale. It is my favorite time, especially to pick up my go-tos, really the ones that are on the expensive side. So I'm going to share with you guys all of my favorites that I repurchased and I also have a sprinkle of some fun new stuff to show you guys. So I'm going to start off with all of my repurchase slash go-to products and then I'll show you all the new fun stuff. The first thing that I threw in my cart right away was the Ultra Pear Cream. I was running out of my big one and then I saw that they had um, this value set, which is amazing. So it is, like I said, it is the First Day Beauty Ultra Pear Cream. If you have sensitive skin, this stuff is absolutely amazing. I have been using this for years now, honestly. It is perfect if you have eczema and just dry sensitive skin in general. I use it as an all over body cream, but it is also sensitive enough that I can use on my face if I'm just having like a dry spell on my face. And this one also comes with the little mini. And honestly, I actually have repurchased this size the most. And not even because I didn't want to spend the money on the full size. I love this size. I'm literally looking at like four of them sitting on my shelf right now. Because it is the perfect size to throw in your bag, to travel with. I keep it with me all the time. And I just love it. So if this is still in stock, whether it's a sale or not, I still think it's a good price. So I honestly suggest picking this up, especially if you are somebody with sensitive skin because this stuff is amazing. The next things I knew I had to throw in my cart were my more expensive skincare, my Tatcha products. These two items I'm obsessed with. So the first one is their rice polish. Can you even see it in the camera? I don't know because the packaging, but I love this stuff. I don't use a physical exfoliant super often, so this stuff lasts me forever. And I don't know how to get out of the bag. Not, I don't know how to get out of the packaging when we try. Um, this stuff is so good. It is so gentle on your skin. It is super fine and does not irritate me in any way, shape or form. And like I said, a little goes a long way, so this stuff will last forever. So this Tatcha product is 100% one of my top three holy grail products. I have been using this since I worked at Sephora and back in 2018, I think. Yeah, I've been using this since 2018. It is still my favorite way to take my makeup off my face. It is amazing. It is the Tatcha cleansing oil. It used to be called Pure, um, but I, they had some sort of rebrand of it and it is not anymore. I'm trying to open it, but these packaging on the Tatcha is not easy, but this is what the packaging looks like. I'll insert a clip of the bottle in just a second. I love this stuff. This has never broken me out. It starts off as an oil, like it says, and it just takes everything off your face, and then it emulsifies into like a milky texture, so you do not feel any oil left on your face. It is amazing, it takes everything off. So next up in skincare as a repurchase is one of my favorite sunscreens. That is the Super Goop Unseen Screen. I love Super Goop sunscreens. This one is definitely my favorite out of all of them. And it is so silky smooth. Once again, it's never broken me out, which is really the biggest thing that I look for. It's never broken me out, it is the texture is just so amazing and just feels so nice on the skin. The only thing, if you are looking for something that um, is a reef safe and or mineral based sunscreen, I believe that this one is a chemical so this might not be what you're looking for, but if you're looking for just an everyday sunscreen, you know, under the makeup use, just going out and about, all that kind of stuff. This one is amazing. Moving right along, these are actually the last two of my repurchased items. And that is just my Benefit brow products. I actually wasn't even gonna pick these up, not because I don't like them, but because I didn't think I needed them. And then I looked in my bag and I was like, oh wait, I have like none of that left. 
So I picked up a new of the 24 hour brow setter. This stuff is so great. It literally, it is one of those products that really does stick your brows down, but you don't necessarily feel like crunchy. I don't know if that makes sense. Not that I really care about that crunchy feeling, but this does not move and it doesn't necessarily feel like super crunchy. And then I have my Precisely My Brow. I prefer this one comparative to the thicker one. I just find for my brows, the individual like hair look works better. And I am in three warm light brown for this product, you can't tell, but I'll leave everything linked down below. So on to some of the fun stuff. I actually still have it in the box, let me grab it. So first off, um, this actually kind of continues along with my brow products because it is another benefit product. And I have used this product before, so this is technically a repurchase, but I actually, that's upside down. I'm trying it in a different shade. This is the two, and this is the Give Me Brow, the volumizing microfiber with color. Like, I got, I just got the mini one of it, but like I said, I have used this before, but I really want to try out the lighter shade, because sometimes when I've used this, even though my shade is three, when I'm doing like a really minimal makeup look, I sometimes feel like the three is almost a bit too harsh and I wanted to try out the one below it. This one just has a two on it, but it's more like the ashy brown kind of color, I believe. And I actually have it on today. And I think so far I really like it specifically for this product. I actually picked up another sunscreen. So this was one of those purchases that was just kind of like a last minute, saw it, felt like I needed it, threw it in my bag and got it. And that is this Tatcha sunscreen. So I had mentioned with the last sunscreen that that one is not a mineral sunscreen and I really wanted to find a mineral sunscreen that worked for me. So when I saw this one, I had to pick it up. It is a mineral reef safe sunscreen. This one is SPF 50. The last one I showed you, I believe is SPF 40. Yeah, so that one's SPF 40, this one is SPF 50. My only concern, I haven't used this one yet, but my only concern is when I opened it, this one is reasonably expensive, or decently expensive, I guess I should say. And it's kind of small. And I know, and I saw the fluid ounces that it has before I bought it, but I just don't know. Like when I like received it, I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be this small. So I don't know. Maybe when I try it, it'll actually feel like there's so much more in the bottle than there really is and I will keep you guys updated on that if that is the case or if I was right and it's way too small. So I hope it works because it has really good benefits. I believe this also has niacinamide in it. I don't know why I shut it before saying that. Yes, it has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide in it. So if this, so it has a lot of really good things in it. So I kind of hope that it does end up working. Next product I got is a hair care product. I actually didn't really get much hair care products this time, but I've currently been obsessed with the Verb hair care line, and specifically their Ghost line. It smells so good to me. My favorite product, I do use the shampoo, which I really like, um, but my favorite product is the Ghost oil. I'll pop it right here on the screen. It is so good. It leaves my hair feeling silky smooth. Um, but I actually picked that up right before the sale happened because I didn't know what was happening. But it's a really good product. And Verb is actually priced really well. It is has no parabens, no gluten, no sulfates. And this is their weightless moisture heat protectant frizz control. So it is just supposed to be their heat protectant. You put it on when you have damp hair before you blow dry. And it's also supposed to help control frizz and feel weightless and help your hair be moisturized. So I'm very excited to try this out. I will definitely let you guys know about this product as well. Um, once I do update my thoughts on it, if I don't remember to say it in a video, I will be adding my updated thoughts about these products in my description once I update them. So if you're watching this after the fact, way after I post it, keep an eye out in the description to see if I have updated it, because I might have. Moving on, the last couple of products I got are makeup items. I actually, no, I got a decent amount of makeup in this. I don't know. So I'm obsessed with Rare Beauty, Selena Gomez's brand. It's amazing. I have not tried anything from that line that I've not liked. I think she has hit it out of the park. She has done such an incredible job. 
and I'm not someone who necessarily judges celebrities doing brands in terms of makeup and skincare. I just don't really think about it because like their entire jobs revolve around like looking good and keeping their skin and stuff done so I just feel like for a lot of them it does make sense to do this but they don't always end up having fantastic products but obviously but you know what I just thought about I'm saying this one of the other products I purchased is also from Fenty so the next couple products is literally from Rare Beauty and Fenty so two extremely good examples of um, celebrity makeup lines that have just knocked it completely out of the park. They're amazing. But back to what I was talking about with Rare Beauty. So I picked up a couple items. The first is her brand new tinted moisturizer. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, I didn't put that much on. I feel like it could have been like a buildable coverage though, but I got the Positively Light Tinted Moisturizer. I also love that this has an SPF in it because even though I wouldn't recommend going just with a moisturizer, and or tinted moisturizer, I should say, with an SPF. Adding this on top of your SPF is amazing. So I got the shade 16C. So far, it feels really nice on the skin. I'm not sure how it wears yet, so I definitely am gonna update you guys. I actually think pretty soon I might do a makeup routine with all of my Rare Beauty products, because when I tell you Rare Beauty has slowly been taking over my everyday just routine in general it like completely has so I think I might do that um, if you guys would like that make sure you give this video a like and I will give you guys all of my thoughts on all the products as I use them to let you guys know what I think and just to update you so the next thing I got is the Liquid Touch Concealer. I got this in 130N. I also tried this today. This shade is a little bit light, and I know that sounds crazy because you're looking at me and you're thinking, well, you're light, but in person, um, this shade for me personally would work better as like a highlighting under the eye shade, um, like when I'm a little bit lighter. Especially now that it's gonna be summertime, I kind of wish I got a slightly darker shade. So far the 16C I think is working pretty well. But like I said, as the summertime goes on, we'll see, cause I do get a little tan. So I will let you guys know how I feel about that. When I did apply this, um, like I said, I ended up having to use it more of like a brightener. So I think that it did a decent job though. The last thing I got from Rare Beauty is the mascara. It's the Perfect Strokes Mascara Volume Universe? Universal. I can't read. Um, in black, I believe that's the only shade that she has in it. I got the mini just because, actually the big size wasn't even that expensive, but I just wanted to test it out. I used it today. I, so far, absolutely love this. And I thought I would because one, like I said, I've been like a really big fan of just her products in general, but also just the way people have been describing it sounds exactly up my alley. So far, I love it. It gives the exact kind of look that I like for my, my mascara. I like it to be a little bit more natural sometimes, especially daily. I do like my lashes to look a little bit more natural, but just with a little extra oomph. I think I'm gonna end up going back and getting the full size of that mascara. And the last thing I purchased is from Fenty. I saw these blushes a while ago and I want to try them out and I just never did. But then a couple weeks ago, I actually went to Sephora with my friend and I took a photo of this because I knew I was gonna to wanna to buy it at some point. And it is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. It looks like this. Her packaging is so nice. I think the same thing about Rare Beauty. I think they kind of hit it out of the park with their packaging. I love it. And this one is in Petal Poppin. It is just this really, it is so beautiful. And I tested it out and I am obsessed with it. That color, oh my God. It is so beautiful. Um, like with the other products, I will insert a clip of me trying this out. I love it, oh my god. It is so pretty. I used this one a little bit today. I feel like you can't fully see it, not because of it, but um, I put other stuff on top of it, so I feel like I kind of washed it out. But when it first went on, it was so pretty. You'll see in the clips, and I'm 
so excited to keep using this. I think this will be perfect. I've been so into cream products lately, especially for the summertime. So it'll fit right in with all of my other makeup. And I can't wait to let you guys know how I think about it. So far, I really like it. So, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I love watching hauls, especially of beauty products. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have so much stuff coming out. I have so many spring fashion videos planned, especially in the next coming couple weeks. So if you like that, make sure you keep an eye out. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will hopefully see you guys next time. Bye.